All right. What's up, guys? Um, Flo Techner here. I'm going to be doing a video for you guys. It's a little bit different. I'm voicing over some Bed Wars gameplay I had today. Oh, boy. I'm tired. And I'm going to be um, talking about tips and tricks uh, for Bed Wars. So, some of these clips I died. Some of these clips I have stupid deaths. But it's just going to be going over some basics. Um, so, yeah, let's hop into it. So, the first tip is learning how to speed bridge um, in rushing. So, learning to speed bridge in rushing is crazy important. Because um, if you can't speed bridge, even if you have very good PvP with 20 CPS, it does not really, you know, it doesn't really help too much. Because you can't really get into those fights. In the first place, because you don't know how to PvP. So that's actually a really big deal in my opinion. I think that if you can't speed bridge, you aren't going to go for it. Um, if you can do what I call walk bridging, where you just place blocks while walking, um, it might be easier. But in this clip, I'm showing god bridging, which is basically just, it takes some time to get used to, but it's it's very worth it. It's a really consistent type of bridging um, because you can hold instead of click. So as you guys see, I just hop for this man's bed, and I accidentally jumped off. But it's okay. We try to stay optimistic. Staying optimistic will actually make you like a way better player. Trust me. If you're always raging, it'll actually, in my opinion, make your gameplay far, far worse. So I'm just, I'm just going to, I keep on going. I was a little bit annoyed, I remember. But I was like, you know, we got this. He doesn't even, he, it's all us. Awesome. So I should have, looking back, oh wait, did I, um, I, met, I accidentally bought a, a stone sword. But sometimes I actually like to have like a stone sword in my chest anyway. And I put that in. I think actually having an iron sword in the early game is super good and super underrated. If you have an iron sharpness one sword off early game, um, that's a random thing. I forgot to turn off notifications in this, so I do apologize about that. Um, it goes crazy. Like, if you have an iron sword sharpness one, because a lot of times people don't expect it, so they'll play more aggro, and then you whip it out and you literally just destroy them. So as you guys see, even though I don't even have the sharpness, I just have a regular iron sword. It's bringing me way, way farther. So I just take his bed. And this leads to the benefits of rushing. And he says, I'm actually going to do something a little weird. I'm going to throw out my resources. Because if I die, he can't really... I thought he was, like, gone. I didn't even know what was going on. So I just I threw them away. So, like, in case... Like, just like they wouldn't get in the way. Because I had a feeling that, like, he might kill me or something. And I knew it wasn't, like, much... I didn't really know who he was. I don't know if he just quit or whatever. But I popped the golden apple, and I just go back. I was a little bit worried that someone was going to take my bed, actually. I don't remember. I think someone did, actually. All right, no. Oh, wait. Did somebody... I don't even remember this game much. But I actually go for diamonds, and this is very important. Going for diamonds in the early game is super important. So I just speed bridge over for the diamonds, and I do get the diamonds. But here's... I'm about to make a humongous mistake. That's going to cost me a big portion of my game. Should be coming up soon. Um, but yeah, until then, I just, you know, chill out with my sharpness. I like to always have a sharpness iron sword recently because it just does so much. But as you guys see there, my bed gets broken. And I get kind of not worried about this. And my mistake was I should have gone back and then went for diamonds because the guy knew that my bed was free. I could have gone there, gone a better bed defense, and then went for diamonds at near at the uh, diamond place near my bed. So I kind of choked there, but I did get the kill. So I guess it's not all that bad. Um, so then I just rushed back um, over. I got the kill. And I was thinking to myself, do I want to rush yellow immediately? And I decided not to, and first just stop off and get reinforced armor. Because that's also super important. Um, and then I bought a pickaxe. I was trying to have a pickaxe on me, in, or TNT, or both. Just because you want something to break your bed with. So I bought a pickaxe, and I decided to rush him. Um, and I was very confident with my sword. Um, but he also had an iron sword, actually. But I got the kill at the end of the day. Um, and I was pretty, pretty stoked. But then he come at me again, and I actually got the kill. And was able to break the bed. Um, and I was like, okay, bet. Um, so, and then I jumped in for the kill, and it was a little bit risky. But I was like, whatever, we'll be good. We're chilling. Um, and then I got some gold. 
And I said it by golden apples. I always try to have apples on me. Just because of how, like, how helpful I can be. Because people underestimate the odds of you, like, a lot of times when people don't carry them, I find. Or even sometimes I don't carry them. And it's a big mistake. Because what ends up happening is you get into a weak situation where if he gets one to two hits, even though he has a wooden sword, it'll kill you. So even though you can also one to two hit him, he's at full HP. So it's basically, in the scenario, almost as if your sword did the same damage. And that's much worse. So what I like to do is I like to get a golden apple and then run up like that staircase to the right and kind of hide with the gapple and then either wait for him to come from it, come up to me, buy, go to the shop, or just sit there and wait for me to heal. And then this one I actually got fireballed. Uh, my mistake there was I was doing too much staircase bridging when I could have sprint bridged and made myself less vulnerable. So that's why I'm showing clips of me dying just to show that I also make mistakes and I can also fix them just like everyone else in the world. Um, so I decided to just vote for an app. I, I just voted for a random map because I don't really know maps good. So I'm like, fine, whatever. So I'm doing some trashy PV, um, parkour while waiting. But from there, I learned, I'm just gonna, you learn a bunch of things from that game. For starters off, um, just get a loadout that suits you. I personally liked to have, I like to have an iron sword, the sharpest one in the early game. And it might cost me gold, oh, two, it might be... I mean, you can make the argument that a stone sharpness one sword will be fine, and that I can get a, um, two gapples and just chill with my gold ingot. But I find just having that damage when people don't expect it makes it that people will play extra aggressive because they know that the odds are you guys have similar loadouts compared to, like, weapons and um, just utility and that kind of stuff. But when they really don't, they don't even... It's, it's too late for them. And then I said Burge out, and then I was like, you know what, I'm going to go and get some wool. And then push him. So I do that. Um, I do have this glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch for me or whatever. Where like the shop doesn't open. So I've been trying to fix that. I think I might have found a consistent way to fix it. But as you guys said, you open the shop. And I do buy ladders. Ladders are super handy. Ladders are like crazy underrated. Like people underestimate how good ladders can be. So I decided to bridge up. And I think I... Did I fail God bridge? I don't even remember what happened here. Alright, so I start God bridge on... I'm still pretty new to God bridging more. I've been trying to do it more. But because I'm a little bit new to it, I do fail some of these. But I decided to stop there because I didn't really know. A lot of times people wait for you and you don't even notice it. So I like to stop, do a staircase bridge just to make sure the coast is clear. And this guy, like, I guess, like, his screen froze or something. And I actually got the free kill. Um, and I was pretty happy about that. It was a pretty simple kill. There was nothing really complicated. And I, again, bought an iron sword. So this shows having a inventory that suits you having an inventory that suits you is huge um and it is very much based on your play style i'm going to give an example if you're an aggressive player you want a better sword if you're a more defensive smart player you might want a better bed defense which we'll get to later in the video you might also be someone who likes to have a lot of gapples you might be someone who's a big tryhard and likes to carry ladders or you might just be someone who just likes to have a ton of fireballs on him and just spam them. <laughs> or you might be like someone who likes to carry a bow on them to stop bridgers. There are a million different things. That's one of the cool things about Bed Wars, that there are so many different um, loadouts to have. And, like, it just makes the game, like, very unique in a sense compared to, like, Skywards where everybody's having, like, a sword. And then, like, the basic stuff, like, blocks and, like, lava. But as you guys see, I'm now going to go and I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy can't speak properly some more blocks and i'm gonna buy endstone so i'm gonna break this all off and a big thing is when you're having just walls of bed defense you are open to any form of getting in all right but let's say for example you might have obsidian and the only way to get in there is through a um what is it called again a diamond pickaxe um so with endstone you can get in there with either tnt or a cob or um a pickaxe but the good thing about it is the fact that you can't you if i'm trying to push a bed and it has just a wool bed defense i might be in a little bit less of an issue because i don't have to run back but let's say i'm not carrying a, t a pickaxe or tnt i'm not gonna have to run back but if i if someone just sees wool they'll push it that's one of the reasons that if you have like obsidian or something like that on, around your bed, block it with wool. Because people don't really know what's under it. 
And people will push you not even knowing they, they need a diamond pickaxe to get the bed. That's why I love Obsidian um, as a bed defense. It's really underrated. A lot of people underestimate it. And also, if you're getting killed, you're going to have to wait for 20 gold to get a diamond pickaxe and then push again. So you get a good amount of time to get a good loot, and you don't always have to be worried about your bed. But now I'm going to do the smart move. I'm just going to go and push center, which a lot of times is something that's important. You need the emeralds so you can get obsidian, potions, ar uh, diamond armor, just like the good loot. You know? So I start walk bridging here, and I want to get myself in a position where I can just god bridge. And I just walk bridge, and I'm just chilling. Um, and then I just jump, take some fall damage. Then I'm going to go center. So this is a pretty, strong, a pretty chill strat I have, where I just get the kill, um, loot up a little on my island, and then push middle. So now I can just check out middle, see if there are any vulnerable bed defenses. One of the benefits of middle isn't even the emeralds. It's just seeing who's fighting the bed defenses of other players, um, just where players are overall. Like, I know this person is at this bed defense. Um, um, and yeah, so that stuff is pretty pretty interesting if you think about it but I mean in my opinion it doesn't really it doesn't really matter too much um so you just want to have that kind of thing in mind like what is good what is bad um in the sense of game sense and game sense, don't get me wrong, game sense is incredibly important. If you can't do good game sense, your game you will lose many games over because you don't know bed defenses. And game def ga I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. Game sense is basically just knowledge of the game and, like, what's going on. So, yeah, if you don't know who's fighting bed defense and all that, it'll actually put you at a huge disadvantage. But, okay, I got this kill. I get the bed, um... Is it just run up here? This is a smart move, and I'm going to explain to you guys why. If he's going to come up here, you can, one, hit him off, and two, you get height, so you can get good reach. But now you're just not moving, and I was like, um, okay. And I actually got the kill, and it's a GG. So that just shows that even though I didn't, might not have gotten the most kills, it pays off to play smart. So yeah, now I just hop into our next game, and yeah, it's pretty hype. Just chilling in the lobby. But another thing that you guys want to consider from that match is how I use game sense. I use game sense to see who's in middle, who's in charge, when to rush. I use game sense for a lot of things. And game sense is very important. Um, game sense is kind of like a combination with rushing. They're pretty similar in a sense because you want to know what's going on. So as you see, I get 12 iron again. Buy some more blocks. Okay. And yeah, and then I just go right back out there. Um... I basically, you don't want to mix up your strategy. Use the same strategy for every game, in my opinion. I mean, like, sometimes things will go off track where, let's say, like, you lose your bed in the early game or stuff like that. Stuff happens. But you want to have a basic sense of as long as everything goes normal, um, when, what should I do and when? A kind of like a timeline. But at the same time, have a plan of what, if something goes wrong. I mean, like, if my bed's broken, what do I do? And that kind of thing. So I start... God bridging over here. I don't even remember if I fail this. I hope I don't, to be honest, because that would really stink. But, um, nope, it looks like I made it. Yeah, I made it. And then he's putting this up there. So, I hit him, and I get the bed, because I know that and he can block it off, and I'm going to be an issue. Because then I have to run and get a pickaxe. So, I actually do get it there just in the nick of time, which was super fortunate. And what do I do like all the other games? I bought an iron sword. So I buy the iron sword, and I just buy some blocks. Having a lot of blocks is super important and handy. Um, so, um, and then I get three gold, so I go here, and I buy a pickaxe, which is crazy important. Even if, even if it's just wood, it's super handy. Um, and I think I buy a golden apple. I don't remember exactly, though. Um, did I? I don't even remember exactly what I do. But, okay, I go to utility, and I buy a golden apple. Actually, too, my bad. Um, and now I just got a bunch of good loot. 
and now I can really do whatever. I'm free. So I actually remembered last ga a game, like one, two games ago, a mistake where I didn't push early enough. So I decided to actually go back and get the damage from there. But before I did that, I'm pretty sure I bought a defense just so. Well, yeah, I bought some end stone um, to protect my bed with. So as you guys see, I buy um, some loot. And now I'm just chilling. Um, so now I can kind of just put my blocks. Oops, I made a mistake there. It's not a big deal. Whatever. And um, now I'm all good. Um, I mean, I can still be um, TNT or pickaxe, but at least nobody can just walk over and immediately take my bed out. And even if he does have a pickaxe, I get a little bit more time to react and try and hit him away. And if he has to put TNT on me, well then, I, have, I can I get some time before it explodes. So I now go here, and I get the diamonds I need for the sharpness, and I'm super hyped for that. Because now, I'm going to have a sharpness one iron sword, and that's super good. That is crazy important to get. So now I actually went to the wrong shop. Okay, whatever, whatever. And um, I get the um, sharpness on my sword, and I can now just chill. I can chill, and it'll be fine. Because I got the loadout I want for the early game with nothing really going wrong. So this early game was super smooth for me. Because now I have the loadout I need. I got the sword I wanted. And everything is just going great for me in this match. Um, so I was like crazy hyped for that. And I was like super, super excited. Because I'm like, I got everything I really needed. Um, This looks like it's an easy game, right? But... As you guys know, um, I have the same loadout, and I've went over this multiple times. I'm just going to say it again, how important it is, because I've been rambling about it. But it's just crazy important. Getting the bed is important, and you guys might know that. But what's also important is game sense and idea of what you want to do in the game, like a timeline. So I got the bed, and as you guys see, since I have my intended loadout, I can play very different. But I did make a mistake. I forgot to buy armor, and that's super crucial. Because going around in just leather armor is so bad, especially in the mid-game. Even in the early game, you don't want to have it, because if a guy has like an iron sword, or even just a stone sword, you're crazy, crazy vulnerable. Which is basically the last thing you want. Um, because when you're vulnerable like that, people see that. When people play aggressive, and when people play aggressive, it can go good or bad for you. But in that case, you don't want people pushing you because somebody will third party you and everything will go wrong. So I noticed that and I actually got super lucky that I caught that and I was able to be all right. But I did take out the guy's bed and I don't know where he is, but everything was pretty smooth. Sailing. And I wanted to get a player tracker because I saw somebody say that they're actually like super underrated. I wanted to try it, but it's three emeralds. So I'm like, yeah, no, I'm out. I'm sorry. Um, so then I leave there and I'm like, okay, what's next? Um, I have a fireball I need, because I saw that, um, I got fireballed out before, and I realized that fireballs can actually be super important, I should probably use them more, so I decided to buy a fireball. Um, and then I'm kind of just chilling, trying to grind out these emeralds, because that's hella important. Um, and you know, I'm just casually, casually grinding them out. And I'm trying to, like, find out what's next that's vulnerable. Um, and I see pink, and I was like, Okay, um, but pink doesn't have a bed, so I got hyped. Um, and, yeah, pink just destroyed me. I think in this game I crash, um, which was a shame. But I did learn a lot from this game, because it did help me understand play style and how to, like, beat people better, and it helped me understand that, like, Emeralds are super important. I forget this concept a lot. So I was like, um, yeah, I don't really know about that. Um, and then I was like, yeah, you know what? This guy played it smart. He's just a way better player, too. So I'm like, fine. Okay. But he's still insane out of his mind. So I have to find a way to beat him. And I was thinking, it was kind of lost. I was like, I can try and knock him off. But as you guys saw before, his PvP was kind of nice. So I was like, okay, my only real option is to bow him or fireball him. 
and I decided to buy a trap because if he pushes my bed and he gets blinded, that can be a big opportunity for me to get the KO. Because, again, he doesn't have a bed. So I just need one KO on him. But I decided to buy it's a trap. And just because if I can get the blindness on him, I can get the kill. And that's really what I needed. And he until and he can't beat me until he got to my bed. So I was like, okay, this is a perfect plan. But it didn't go as planned because I disconnected. But let's pretend that that never happens. So I have the intended sharpness sword. The problem is that his loadout is better. He had a sharpness diamond sword and he had the diamond armor with reinforced armor. So you know, his loadout's way better. So a big tip for people with better loadout is find out. What you can do. You notice that they have... I'm sorry. If they have very, very, like, perfect W-tap skills and just perfect PvP, try and consider something maybe like a fireball or a bow or something like that. If you notice that they have insanely better loot, but let's say their PvP is a little bit off, so go for it. So maybe try and get a diamond sword with sharpness and try and PvP them. Um, but stuff like that is just crazy important know and understand and all that yada 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 stuff but now i have the sword i need i have the wool i want i have the ladders like i got the full set i got the emeralds but mr pink will still come for me because mr pink is legit the biggest insanest tryhard ever he's probably your average high pixel but worst player though so i go for him and, well, he literally just destroyed me. He literally just disintegrated me. I think I was going to sh- chat something, but I didn't. Um, but, and then I was, like, lagging a little. I noticed that I was having some lag. And I couldn't even, like, open the shop because I was, like, lagging crazy hard. Um, I did buy the sword, though. Well, kind of, but it was, like, really laggy. And then, like, the sword popped up again. And I was just, I, I started lagging a ton. And this is kind of where my game ended. So, yeah, I'm going to cut to the end part where we talk about what we've learned. Okay. So, what have we learned? Let's see. Speed bridging is important. That's definitely a big start. Um, PVPing is important. But that we're actually not going to input because I already have a guide to PVPing. But I do want to just pull it, put it in there because I forgot to before. PVPing is important. So, try and learn to PVP. It's going to bed wars. Um, another thing to learn is speed bridging. You want to develop game sense, which you can get from watching players better than you, like pros. Or you can get it from just overall playing. Um, you want to also learn um, your loadout. So if you're new, what I would suggest doing is try a bunch of different loadouts. Maybe find a pro you like, see what he likes to run, and then try that. And maybe just edit it, but that's what I did. I found like some random guy on YouTube who had, you started using Iron Sharpness. Swords, and I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'm going to try that because I've been improving in my PvP. And I tried it, and I liked it. So I started doing that. Um, so, yeah, it's basically all pretty basic. Bed Wars is sa- it's easier said than done. Um, but the key is just practice. Follow these tips and practice them. I may not be the best Bed Wars player, but I think I'm okay. For a Bed Wars controller player, I think I'm okay. I do fail trying to practice some virgin care, but it's okay because we, we all make mistakes. And that's a really big thing. Have a good mentality and understand your weaknesses. So if you feel that you um, have made mistakes in the past and you want to fix them, do it. Um, don't be afraid to accept the fact that you're not the best Edwards player ever. Um, another thing to understand is be optimistic. I've had so many times in games where... I rage a lot and blame the game, and I never actually got better. And um, that's a big thing, is just be optimistic. Understand that anything that you're trying to get good at will take time. Um, talent isn't something you're always going to be good at. You're not always going to immediately get talent. It's going to take hard work. And, um, yeah, have a, a great rest of your day or night. And, um, yeah, get better at Bedwars. I wish you all the luck in the world.